So this is Good Morning from Denmark. My name is Rachel Goodwin and I have my good friend here, Louise. Hi Louise. Hi Rachel. I'm from Shropshire. It's a dark, a dark morning here. So hopefully there's enough light that you can you can see me reasonably okay. Yeah. And thank you yeah. very much for giving me a chance to chat to you about Sarah. Yes, yeah, so we're talking about Sarah's Violet Flame and Louise and I are Violet Flame, Sarah's Violet Flame enthusiasts. So I'm actually going to set a timer. So <laughs> <laughs> are you ready on your mind? Right. Get set. Go. <laughs> so I, just, I just thought if I did that and then I don't have to worry about how much time and when it goes off, I can go, right, that's it. Because I when I watch videos two hour videos they're great but I don't always have yeah. that kind of time whereas 30 minutes no. I can always find 30 minutes so I wanted to start today just with a really really simple um, visualization I went back and had a look at my um, five years ago I wrote a book Sarah's little book of healing and that is where I sort of wrote down like the foundational practices for using her violet flame and all these other things. And I went and had a look in there because we've got so advanced now with the violet flame. Five years later, we're, we're doing really technical things. So I wanted to go back and just remember what it was like <laughs> when I was doing it really, really simply. And so um, if you're watching and you can just take a moment, I'd really like you to just close your eyes and take a nice deep breath. And just imagine that you're sitting in a flame, a violet flame. So like the flame is like underneath your feet and then coming up the top of it is just above your head. And Sarah has her own very specific vibration of the violet flame and just ask just have the intent this is Sarah's violet flame and we me and Louise are going to tell you all about what that means and how to use it and things so just feel yourself sitting in this violet flame and just let it let it bathe you with its energies so it's incredibly purifying And it's purifying your energy so that you can shift into higher vibrational states. So it's very much for the new age and the fifth dimension, this violet flame. And if you want, you can just let go of that image or you can leave yourself sitting in it while you listen to me and Louise rabbiting on about the violet flame. <laughs> yeah. So was there something you wanted to start with, Louise? I wanted to start off with my own experience when I was first. This is going back, you've mentioned going back to your book, uh, Sarah's Little Book of Healing, which I will mention as well. Um, but when I was first getting into the violet flame, when I first encountered it it was a very abstract thing for me to understand because i come from a religious background and i'd never heard anyone talk about the concept of a violet flame as long as it's not a, a real physical flame it's a spiritual flame yeah it's an energy and often has different names um, i've seen it referenced as the flame of freedom the flame of transmutation um, and also the flame of forgiveness all of which I think very aptly describe what the violet flame is. It's just this great all in one flame that you can use to transmute anything that you see as negative, anything that's happened in your life. Not necessarily now, you can go back as well and um, to past lives as well. You can go to your blood, you can go to your DNA, you can go to any body part and you can send the violet flame there. It's as flexible, I think, as what your imagination allows it to be. Um, yeah. And that's certainly one of the things to, to say to people is that this, this violet flame, it's a very powerful tool. People maybe don't even realise just how valuable it is to, to actually take situations, for example, that have happened in your life 
um, that maybe you weren't happy with. It could be a person, it could be a place that has unpleasant memories for you. And to be able to visualize the violet flame actually consuming and taking away yeah. the aspects of it that yeah. actually they didn't serve you any purpose, they didn't do any good. And to be able yeah. to remove them from you, I think is a blessing in itself that we all, it's, it's not just available to a few people, it's available to everyone. Yeah. And there are many, many masters and angels that work on the violet flame ray or the violet ray who we can call upon. Sarah is one who uses the violet uh, flame, but many 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 in fact i don't know of any angel or ascending master that doesn't use the violet flame they have their yeah. own variation of it yeah, yeah yeah um for example i've also worked with kuan yin's uh, violet flame as well which is really lovely um and i've worked with archangel zakil's variation yeah so it's i see it on a spectrum um, yeah, yeah, yeah. of colors yeah yeah it is definitely and it was actually the first spiritual practice that i ever did when I, well. when I sort of awoke spiritually in my 20s, I did um, a violet flame meditation every mm. night. And that was actually mm. from the Ethereum Society, which is in, based in London. And they, they work with um, extraterrestrials, basically. And I worked with this violet flame meditation and it was just astounding. And I just knew that I shouldn't do anything else. I just had to do that for two years I did that and and I think that's still like really at the foundation of the work I mean I, I've remembered past lives where I've been like a priest of the violet flame in Atlantis and you know I know like I am generally a bit obsessed with the violet <laughs> flame and my job in this lifetime is to work with Sarah's violet flame because it is specifically pe preparing us to go into you know the golden age or the new age or you know this transformation that we're going through um i've been doing a lot of ascension work recently with the earth and the reason i can do that is because i've done such deep work with sarah's violet flame and all of the ascension work you have to clear up the crap basically mm -hmm. if you excuse my language with sarah's violet flame there are, like Louise, like you say, Louise, there's so many different vibrations of the violet flame. And I have done workshops and workshops and workshops on it. And I just love it. You know what I mean? I can never, I can never get enough. But I think, you know, for this, what we're talking about here for the Ascension work, Sarah's violet flame. I mean, it's just. Can I show you the crystals I work with? Yeah. Uh, with Sarah's yeah. violet flame. Um, the, I'll see if I can show you. The Sarah's crystal grid, there's basically six of these lilac. I'm just going to zoom in. These lilac um, amethyst crystals. And what I have, I've got six of those. They're all pretty much the same shape. Can you see that okay? Yeah. 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 Now, normally what I would do is I would sit in these as I'd be doing any workshops, any spiritual work. And there's also one which represents Sarah. This is the bloodstone. So it's green. Yes. Now, how I would describe using these. So these all together, the six lilac, I put them in my hands and there's one bloodstone. So what I do is I put them in the shape of a wheel. And this all represents the flame. And this, this bloodstone obviously represents Sarah. Now, how I would describe the effect that these have is that they're immensely powerful. Imagine you're in a lift and you're right at the bottom. And then all of a sudden you press the button and you want to go up and then you want to go up and then the next floor, the next floor, the next floor. That is how I experienced being in Sarah's violet flame crystals. Mm. They're immensely powerful. So no matter what kind of day that you've had, I will just sit in them. And even sometimes people, you know, don't want to say anything. You just don't feel like saying anything. So even if you just want to sit there and just be absorbed in Sarah's violet flame and the reaction is incredible. It's almost immediate. Yeah. When I sit in them, I'll start to get tingling in my hands, um, my lips, my heart, and I'll get tingling up and down my body. And then it's like, yes, I know that I've, I've made that connection. And Sarah, she's 
as long as you tell Sarah, I find, tell Sarah what it is that you want her yeah. to do. Yeah. Um, I've yet to find anything that she can't help me with. She is really that versatile. Yeah. And just the one tip I would say from my own experience is just try and be clear to Sarah what it is that you want her to specifically clear. Yeah. Um, yeah. Which reminds me... She's really, she's really interested in our ascension. And she's very in tune with our lives as well. You know, she's, yeah. she always makes me feel like she knows what's going on. Yeah. Um, and she can see, obviously, the higher perspective, but she still has this gift of being able to see it from our human perspective as well. So what I would do is I would sit in them um, and you in your, your Kindle, the Sarah's Little Book of Flame, uh, Healing, you've got some great invocations there. Okay. Little phrases. <laughs> uh, can I just share just, 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 some, just a simple one that you've suggested? Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. Is I call upon Sarah and her violet flame to help me transform and transmute and then you fill in the blank. Yeah. I call upon yeah. Sarah and her violet flame to help me transform and transmute and then whatever it is. That's so it. it's and a you negative can do that. situation. You can do that. You don't need any special tools or no, anything. No, no, just, no. Sit, just sit and do that. Yeah. It, yeah. it invokes the energy and it has an immediate effect. So, I mean, working with the tools is great. It takes you to like a, a deeper level of, of, of clearing. Um, but also, <laughs> this is what, yeah, because I am, yeah. A really busy person um, me and my husband we have a son who's nearly seven he has special needs so we our life is quite challenging so I am always looking for ways to like mm. reduce the time I need to put in <laughs> maximum efficiency yeah. and that was one of the reasons why I attuned these sets of um, lilac amethyst to Sarah as well I mean I was I was inspired as well but but also it's like oh, this is great because you can attune these sets to the Violet Flame. And also I have a Violet Flame class on Learn It Live where you can learn, again, lots of these sort of quick tips, how to use these technologies. And they just save so much time. And like with the crystals or the Violet Flame water, which you learn in the class, you do it and then it's just there for you. You can just you can just use it. You don't have to keep like thinking consciously. So I have like the crystals like if I'm having a really, really bad day and I'm really, really fed up and I'm in a really bad mood, I just put them in my pocket and I carry them around. I just say, please help me. And they do. They shift. They really shift to my mood. Which well, they have a consciousness, don't they? I mean, they respond to our energy and they do interact yeah. with us. Yeah. And I, but I've just, I've never come across anything that can do it so well. And it is particularly Sarah's Violet Flame that does it. And it's just, it is, well, I mean, I suppose for me, it is a bit like a miracle. Isn't it? <laughs> but I, you know, we, you know, I think we need these um, everyday miracles in our lives because there's a lot of challenges out there this is not an easy time that we're living in and sarah is here she's she's teaching us so many tools um i won't go into them because <laughs> then we'll go we'll go over our we'll go over our i can mention a few hour. little things i can mention a few little things about having done your course yeah um about what I what are the what I learned from your course is yeah. first and foremost i didn't know that there was a violet flame chakra yeah yeah well that Thought. information came from edwin court yes the and then there's this yeah yes there's a special violet flame symbol so anyone that's into reiki is familiar with the whole process of drawing symbols but if you're not familiar with reiki it's a symbol that's very straightforward and that just gives another layer so i've used yeah. it quite a lot when i've done energy work when i've done healing work out with the trees and nature and that's been very very beneficial and that's and that's you, specifically sarah's violet flame yes i, I was yes. channeled by graham courtney that symbol he's fantastic um mm -hmm. channeling these symbols and it's amazing that symbol is just so yes. so useful i use it you know all the time basically so yeah and also you give an achievement to sarah's violet flame as well so in a very short space of time um because I'd worked with the Violet Flame prior to your course, I had some understanding, but even if I didn't, yeah. listening to your course, the way it's all, you progress, um, 
it's a very straightforward way to progress from what is the violet flame to somebody that knew nothing about it. And I was thinking, actually, that would be a great gift for somebody for Christmas, actually, if they wanted to enhance their spirituality. That would be a really nice present for them to, to be able to look, have all the, these tools, these extra tools in, in no time at all. What a great Christmas present. You know, if you're looking for something unusual for a spiritual yeah. person, yeah. Um, yeah. or even, yeah. of course, you could gift it to yourself. So yeah, it's a very, it's an invaluable course that in a short space of time, is it two hour course? It is, it's, 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 a, two, it's yeah. a two hour class. You could probably like split it up and do an hour one time yes. and an hour another time but yeah I've put that I've put that one on offer until the 2nd of December I've uh, reduced okay. it from $65 down to $35 because I just really want as many people mm -hmm. to do this as possible um, because when when you get into working it with it even more deeply you can use it and do incredible things with it out on the landscape when you get into earth healing you can actually grow your own like spirals violet flame spirals that start clearing up the area where you live and do you know what i mean that's what i'm saying it's got to such an advanced level now the things that can be done with it and um oh it just it makes my heart full just to just to think about it really well i think also sarah is wanting more people to work with her violet yeah. flame as well it, it's a two-way yeah. process so people will see the benefits um and i can give you an, a little short story actually of um i was doing some earth healing with sarah's violet flame and often when you're doing this sometimes you might think well i did i thought i wonder if uh, I've actually made any difference at all you know is it just a case of I'm going there with good intentions have I actually made a difference and one of the things that I did discover is that there's a piece of music it's by Grieg it's called in the hall of the mountain king oh yeah I know that yeah and that's the one of the calling pieces of music for the gnomes and so when I was starting to do healing work with the elementals particularly the gnomes twice it actually it came on the radio and then i'd start to hear conversations about mountains and about halls and about kings and think well you know that's they, they wouldn't be conversations i would typically have with people about mountains and kings so yeah. you know it, and then this kind of really warm feeling in your heart that um, your your efforts have been appreciated and you have been able to make a difference even though you can't always see the difference that you've been able to make you know physically i didn't know so, that yeah. that piece of music i am gonna get that out and dust that off and it's been years since i listened to that mm. That's really interesting. There is on YouTube one uh, version of it in particular, because I did want to check, you know, I wanted to see, you know, whether it was, you know, I'd read it from a few sources just to see what else was there. And there is a, a really nice YouTube clip of you can see the elementals around the mountain with one of the versions of it. Yeah. Now, another thing that I use the violet flame for is I put it around um, Benji, our little boy. Yeah. I put it around mm -hmm. him for like protection mm -hmm. and he goes off to school in it if anybody remembers the ready brick adverts do you remember the ready brick adverts essential <laughs> heating for kids yeah you would have your you would have your you would have your ready brick yes it's sort yes. of like it's sort of like liquidized porridge oats and then as soon as the kids ate this porridge there was this glow around them and they showed them going out into the cold well i have a little um like drawing on the back of our front door with Benji and and like this glow around him and it just sort of reminds me I just look at it I go mm -hmm. violet flame because he's so sensitive to like all these energies and yeah it just keeps the just keeps and I think the following on following on Following on for that really great point is if you're in an environment where there's been tension or people have had a conversation or they've watched something, they're listening to music that's not very nice. It's the same sort of, sort of process. You can go in and you can use Sarah's violet flame. In fact, sometimes what I will do in addition to that is I'll just take a candle and put the violet flame symbol or imagine that Sarah's violet flame is around the candle. Mm. Uh, oh, you can see it. I can see the image now actually. I'm just being drawn to the image behind you with the candle. Okay, okay. And then just burn it with the intention that Sarah's violet flame is continuing to, to work in, in, in the area to, to give it a cleanse. But I did think of a couple of other practical tips that I've used uh, oh, in terms really of nice. just to. I really just to like, can, I, can I just say, I just thought I haven't of thought of that. You could put the symbol into a candle. Yeah, and, and it does work. It. 
if, you, if you've got but but otherwise you can do just w what you said and that'll work as well mm. i hadn't thought that louise mm. thank you that's great yeah and th th i've just literally just run through a few little tips <clears throat> another one is i i quite like the smell of the violet oil now i know that's not everyone does is that like a flat like a, from, a, a, from the flower aromatherapy, aromatherapy yeah. oil yeah and to actually rub some in my hands uh, and then in the UK, we have a £20 note, which is purple. It's the nearest I could get. And so this is for like manifesting money blocks. Yeah. And to actually take the £20 note and to use Sarah's violet flame symbol. But for those people that don't know the symbol, you can just have the intention that you want Sarah to come along with her violet flame and transmute. And I found the, this particular activity really useful for fundraising to do courses. Ah, so what do you do? So you rub the, the violet light, essential oil. violet oil in my hands, in my hands, Hold then I take the money. money, yes, and then I think of either Sarah's violet flame coming yeah. and any blocks to, to the money that she will take them away for me yeah, yeah. and then use the symbol as an extra layer and I've had great success with money with we're raising you know smaller amounts yeah, of money yeah. but to, to fund to fund a course that's great that I've I really wanted that. to go on um, and that's something that anyone 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 can do yeah yeah uh, I don't think I've ever smelt that violet essential oil. I've used so many essential oils. Is it a little bit sort of s sweet and sickly or something? Yeah, like? well, so, yeah the, people... the reviews were mixed on it. Some people said they just didn't like the smell. It, it, it was too sweet and sickly for them. Where other people said they liked it. And it's not yeah. very expensive to buy either. And I oh. think even when you're working with someone like Sarah, you know, you don't have to necessarily go out and buy the most expensive aromatherapy oil because she can yeah. do the work. It's just an extra aid for us to help us to be able to to do the work yeah so that one there that's quite useful i've also tried it with washing machines okay. keep, yeah that's not my idea actually i read about that somebody to quote is saint germain as having saying that said that you can do that you can you put your clothes that? in you just literally imagine the violet flame around your washing machine giving all your clothes a cleanse oh that's lovely that's lovely and, and yeah it went for anyone when, when I first started working with the violet flame, I just went around everywhere. If I went swimming, I would clear the whole of the swimming pool. And um, because the thing is, I'm really sensitive, like a lot of the people that will be watching today, I'm really, really sensitive to energy. So if I go where, somewhere and the energy is a bit, you know, I don't like it. I'm like, ooh, you know, and I, so I have this sort of really strong need for like spiritual hygiene. But yeah, I mean, I worked with Sarah's violet flame for years and years and years and years without the symbol the symbol only came um is it this year is it this year i don't know you worked with it this year it's just so much happened this year and it's because the energies have just gone up to another level now and there's because there's other te technologies and things that i teach in that class and it's just things are shifting so fast now aren't they and i really feel like spirit wants to give us tools so that we can I mean, it's not, you know, because I'm really one for like dealing with your shadow and, you know, I used to be a psychiatric nurse and I've done lots of counselling, psychotherapy, psychoanalysis training. And I'm really into like, let's deal with our stuff. Let's work with our stuff. So it's not about trying to like escape from your stuff. But on the other hand, there is a lot of stuff in the collective unconscious and the collective conscious even. And earth energies around the earth that are really really just so challenging and so heavy and it's like you know you need something to balance that up because we've all got work to do we really have all of us have got something really yeah. special that we've come here to do and these kinds of tools can really just make that bit of difference and that's why i want everyone yeah. to do it and i mean and just listening to you louise like the things you've done with what I've taught you, like I've given you a basic tool and then you've done this and you've done this, you know, and it's just like, it's just, it's just so inspiring because I know, you know, that there's so many people out there that will do the same thing and it'll just be, you know, lifting and lifting. The energies are just, mm. I, I try and have fun. I try and have fun with it as well. And another project I've been working on is a gift to the elementals. So what I did with this, this little project is to take some wood, to work with it for two weeks, to say my uh, violet flame mantras and to actually hold a log of wood. 
and then after two weeks put it in my wood burner and burn it as a gift to the salamanders oh that's lovely again just just simple simple things that to put as much energy into the wood as possible yeah. um yeah and one other thing I've seen, uh, you know, talking about people who are very sensitive to energies, this isn't my idea, actually. I, I read um, Natalie Glasson, she used this when she does courses, is she goes to all the windows of wherever the room that she's in, and she will put a violet flame net around all the windows to violet flame and cleanse and transmute anything negative that's in the room for the people prior to them, them coming in. And I thought, oh, what a great idea to share. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I often I often do it like with my jewellery, you know, yes. or my glasses or anything that's sort of sitting around quite a lot. I mean, these days, because I live in, um, in a little town called, well, it's little by English standards, not by Danish yeah. standards. I live in Roskilde and there's springs here. And so I go and put them in the springs now because I, re I really, really love that. But, um, you know, when I can't do things like that, you can just instantly call on the Sarah's Violet Flame and it you know does such a lovely clearing or even something very simple that we all you know for people when we walk around is to actually walk the violet flame into the ground into the earth um yeah. and that's just again another basic tip for anyone when we're out walking and we remember is yeah. to be able to do that and um yeah. i often wear purple socks to remind myself that that's the job when i'm out walking is that's the job to focus on the uh but that but that 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 brings me on to the, the second class which is sort of the more advanced class of the violet flame and that is um sarah's order of the yes. violet flame and once you're initiated into that because then you're initiated into sarah's violet flame everywhere you go you are just automatically like walking that energy around the earth and she gave me that image and i just thought that was really beautiful mm. Yeah. I just have one. I just want to show you some more crystals that link with Sarah because when I use the violet flame, when I sit in the, I don't think I've shown you the, these ones, have I? No. No, that when I work with the violet flame, they do the transmuting. But the way I, the process I use with the violet flame is that the violet flame has transmuted, it's removed something negative. So to replace that gap, if you like, of where yeah. the negativity was, yeah. I have these and they're called snow quartz crystals and I sit in them in the shape of a horseshoe. And then what, how I see the, these, these represent for me, Sarah's angels. And I have them all here, this, shape of a horseshoe and what they do when I close my eyes is they form a net of light around the situation or yeah. the person or the yeah. thing the event and it's very very beautiful as a finishing touch to the work that Sarah has done with the violet flame because I think it's really lovely to work with Sarah and her army of angels as I think she once described them because she has so many angels that work with her yeah. um, and I think they like to be part of the violet flame process as well. I think I think those those because I mean uh, these um, crystals Louise is, is talking about I've attuned them all to these specific energies through sacred ceremony but talking about that that beautiful this sort of pure whiteness um that really feels connected to january and i think i felt this before um and the epiphany is something about the epiphany as well um i'm i'm not particularly a, a christian but you know i'm interested in all all religions and and i do read i've read epiphany several times before and i have to say i forget it each time i'm not very good at like retaining information i don't know if it's something to do with channeling where you just stay open to channeling bringing new things in and then maybe the stuff you've learned all falls mm. out i don't know <laughs> i don't know mm. but um yeah 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 january it does feel it does feel quite linked to that so yeah i'll be getting i'll be getting my sarah's angels crystals out in january maybe I'll do another, I'll do a well, thing on YouTube for it. It's a good way to start the year, actually, start your yeah. year with, 
the violet flame and working with Sarah's angels and then and you know people tend to think of what their new year's resolutions are think about your new year's resolutions in the context of yes. what things do you want to transmute from your life what negativity what things from your past and then utilize those um with Sarah's violet flame and and get your new year off to a really good productive start yeah so I'll put I'll put I'll put the links in with the video but all these crystals are on my Etsy shop mm -hmm. and the classes are on learn it live and um the book is on Kindle and I am thinking maybe I'll print a few actually because it is I think 44 pages or something like that I think I could print sort of a fairly mm -hmm. nice little sort of pamphlet book that you could you know just carry around with you really easily but um i've just found i've just i've got a new project louise <laughs> got another one i've got another one i have been looking at a site called patreon i don't know if you've heard yeah, of that i've heard of it yes. yeah yeah it's where people can support creators basically mm -hmm. and you get a chance to kind of show that's the that's the that's the timer going off. <laughs> we're, we're doing I'll have well. to hurry you. I'll have to hurry you. Yeah, we're, doing, we're doing well. We're nearly there. And it, it yeah, it's it's a site where people can support creators, and you can show like your work, and you can share it on different tiers. Oh, wow. And I'm really excited about it because I have been looking for something like this for years because I have so much material that mm. I don't really get the chance to share. Um, and this is a really fantastic way of doing it. I can just, you know, keep drawing this stuff in, but then also be working on what's coming in now. And, you know, I'm, I'm really excited. So that's my project for December and then um, getting, getting it ready for launch in January. So, and, it, and it's a really nice way to, to access the material because the sort of support that people pledge, it's like five, you know, the, the tiers are like $5 or 15. And then, you know, if you have something special, you can like, it can be up to a hundred, but to get a lot of the material, you know, you're talking like really like small amounts of money, but then with a few people doing it, it sort of, you know, it adds up and makes it worthwhile. And there's some amazing apps. I have found an app that will stream to YouTube and Facebook at the same time, which is going to, once I've worked out the technology, that will yes. change my life. That will make my life so much easier. So, yeah. Good luck. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> but, oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. And thanks, Sarah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and, and her know, angels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I hope the people listening have been able to, you know, get a few tips and enjoy and be inspired and... Yeah. I think ultimately, if you just call in Sarah or whoever you wish to work with, call them in and just keep things really simple. There are special, you know, mantras and decrees you can say, but people may not feel ready for that if they're just starting out with the violet flame. Just learn to communicate with Sarah and tell her what you want help with. Yeah. And yeah, you know, she's the expert. She'll she'll know what to do, but you just need to give her some instructions about what area you want help with. Yeah, so, so people can come and share on the Earth Ascension page their experiences, or if you want to join a group, there's Sarah's Sacred Circle, which is a bit more of a personal space where we can talk to each other. I do think the attunement is very nice. It's a very special um, closeness, I would say, I felt with Sarah from having been attuned to. I feel as if, you know, it's like wearing a layer, like she, it's like a cardigan. She's, she's very much a part of me. Um, and I think that the attunement process does certainly help there. Yeah. Um, and it's something you can go back and, and listen to again. Yeah, because you, you it's, it's recorded so people can watch it as many times as they feel they need to. Yeah. I mean, I do actually have, um, and I've run it several times in the past, I do actually have like a, a Sarah initiation workshop. Um, and mm. I'm just sort of waiting to see when I can do that again at the right time and the right place. Mm. I have done it online, um, but it's so special. Really, it should be done in person. So mm. I'm hoping to find, you know... <laughs> Sarah's initiation is is very 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 special indeed yeah. um and it, it it is it's 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 when you you really want to commit to working with Sarah and I feel as if spiritually it does move you up um yeah. another kind of layer in terms of you 
feeling more um, aligned with what Sarah is all about is yeah. how I would experience it. And I can still, I can still remember what I saw in the visualization process yeah. when I received her robe. It's a very, very special. Um, and if it, if people feel that if that resonates with them, I feel that they will really, really enjoy it. And life will not quite be the same because you know you just have that closeness to Sarah that she's she's always there with you and just just a thought away. And how blessed we are to be able to to have to have that now in our ascension. Oh, so uh, thank so thank you for Louise. I'm gonna oh, stop, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop us there because I think we've done really really well and um. Lots of blessings to everybody. Uh, yeah, thank you very much for joining us.